What do you remember about meeting your idol, Kobe Bryant? Oh man, uh, meeting Kobe, I was I was nervous uh, getting ready for a World Series game, and uh, you know I was doing some stuff in the gym, and all I hear is, "Hey, Kobe, Kobe's here. Um, you want you want to go take a picture?" And I was like. Should I go take a picture or should I finish my rehab? I'm getting ready for a game. I'm like, uh, let me just finish right quick and you know uh, try to get it done as fast as I could. And all of a sudden, he just walks into the gym. And as soon as I look over, I was actually on the ground. I look over and um, you know I see six foot six uh, guard. And uh, you know, I mean, my mind was just just mind blown. Uh, man, it was it was one of the most incredible moments of. I, I would think of my entire life, just, uh, you know, finally just having him up close and, you know, hearing him say, okay, I see you. I see you kid. I see you working, you know, and, uh, you know, I'll never forget those words. And, um, you know, then meeting him there was, I, I mean, I was starstruck. I mean, I felt like I was a little kid, um, you know, back in the day when I used to go to baseball games, looking at my, all my favorite baseball players. And now I have Kobe Bryant in front of me, one of my, one of the guys that I admire the most in, in, in this, in this planet. And, uh, um, you know, it was just mind blowing. And it's, it's, it's one of those memories that, you know, the more you say, it, the more you smile, the more you think about it. And, um, you know, the better you feel and, uh, you know, rest in peace. I know he's in a better world, but he's, he's looking over all of us. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's just one of those memories I will never forget. You've got a Kobe in your life now. Tell us about him. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's a little mama as well. Uh, man, he's, he has a lot of energy like Kobe did. And, um, you know, he, he always brings that smile to your face every single day whenever you get home. And, uh, you know, no matter if you go for four or four for four that day, uh, you know, he's always excited to see you. And um, he just makes your night every better every single day when you get home, when you walk through that door. So it's, uh, you know, it's awesome to have a little Kobe by my side always. Describe the energy of the guy who plays to your left. Oh, man. He's a... Uh, He's a spark, uh, you know. I mean, he could he could turn a game around in a heartbeat, whether it's with a bat, um, with a glove, making a, a nice play, or even on the base pass. I think that that's where I love I love seeing him the most is, uh, you know, when he's whenever he's making those those crazy slides back to first base, where I'm like, oh man, he's out for sure, and all of a sudden he he be, he gets out of it, he gets out of it, and, and beats that throw or or beats the slide and. Um, it's incredible to watch him, and uh, you know he brings the best out of all of us. And whenever he's on that field healthy, um, you know it's it, it's a pleasure to watch. You like to wear cologne on the field. What are you going to wear on Sunday night? What type of responses do you get from people on the field about it? Oh man, I get all all types. Uh, umpires always ask me, "Hey, well, well, hey, that smells pretty good, man. What's the name of that?" You know, and uh, you know, players always, you know, I think that that's 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 the biggest one. You know, right before a game. You go out there and you you start chatting to all the guys you know in, in center field and like man damn that's that's a nice cologne I learned that I learned this one from Big Poppy you know Big Poppy always smelled good so um, you know um, I'm gonna be wearing a, a Louis Vuitton uh, a cologne on on Saturday, on tomorrow night well today I would say um, and it's uh, it's one of my favorites it's, it smells good it's, it's it lasts on your skin pretty well and it stays on the jersey well so you know it could at least last all nine innings some of the colognes i've had in the past kind of fade off after a couple slides but this one stays on pretty good what do you love about stylized cleats uh just shows your um you know shows your personality shows who you are i think uh it's, it's kind of tough in this game uh for people who really know who you are and uh you know whenever you could Accessorize whether it's with an arm sleeve, with your glove, your bat, your batting gloves. Um, you know, I got. I'm, I'm lucky enough and blessed that I, you know, I'm part of the Jordan brand, and um, you know, I'm able to customize my own cleat. Um, you know, they do a good job over there. We're letting us, um, you know, show our expressions and um, you know, do what we what we like. And uh, you know, every every November we always uh, enjoy our time with 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 the brand and. And with our connection and, and our, our core group there that we get to customize the shoes for the for every year and you know that's where i get to show off my swag and 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 you know show my express and show who i am I'm, I'm a loud guy i like i like i like classy things but i also like going on the exotic side so you know i, I like blending it in off blending it in all the way around and uh you know this year i did i did a special one for uh you know our, our sunday or for our troops um you know around the world um, you know, to wear them every every single Sunday, and you know, also on the road. Describe your cleats, the cleats you're wearing on Sunday night baseball. Uh, Sunday night, I'm I'm about to bring out my gold. I love golds. Uh, you know, I think uh, 
you know, I think it's a special night, Sunday night baseball. You know, everybody be watching. Um, so uh, I guess I'll bring out my gold ones tonight. And, uh, you know, those are special ones. Those are uh, our gold. They match perfect with our unis. Um, I wanted to go a little loud this year. And, uh, you know, these are definitely doing the job. And I've got a lot of great compliments on them. So, uh, you know, we got to keep them going. And they got hits as well. So describe your nerves with two outs in the ninth inning of Joe Musgrove's no hitter. Oh my God. Oh, actually I wasn't, I wasn't that nervous as I was like in the seventh or sixth inning. Uh, I think there you're kind of like, when you start kind of realizing, I looked up and I'm like, man, is this really going on right now? I'm like, he had just walked Gallo and I'm like, Hmm, I think. And then after that inning, we go in, I think it was the sixth. I'm like, man, I think this is it. And that, that's when you start, like starts kicking in. You're like, Oh man, you, let's not talk about it. Let me not think about it, but you're still nervous at the same time, which is a crazy feeling. But, uh, you know, once I get to that ninth inning, two outs, I'm like, all right, let's go. Come on. We got this in the bag. Um, you know, I'm like, come on, hit it this way. Hit it this way. Let's just get this over with. And, uh, you know, you're just locked in. I mean, I felt like, you know, World Series game all over again. Like I've been in before and, uh, you know, just to be a part of that. And then finally get that ground ball. We get the out. Uh, you know, I mean, I, 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 I've never been a part of that. I've never... I, I just can't even describe the feeling of it, honestly. I, I keep saying different things because it was just a lot of different emotions. Um, but I'm glad it could have happened to a better person than Joe and um, you know, a kid that grew up in San Diego. Uh it just it couldn't it couldn't be written any better, um, you know, honestly. And uh, you know, I'm just grateful to be part of it and experience that with him and experience that with the organization. Describe the state of the Padres Dodgers rivalry. It's awesome, man. I mean, uh, you know, they're a great team out there and they're, they're, they're holding that throne, um, you know, and, uh, you know, we got a team over here that we're trying to we're, we're trying to take them down and, you know, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a grind. And, uh, you know, these last couple of games have been awesome and we've been out there and grinding back and forth. And, um, you know, it's going to be a fun year. Um, you know, we're two great b baseball teams and, you know, we're trying to we're trying to compete for that title. And, uh, you know, they're ahead of us right now. But, you know, we're going to continue to keep grinding, keep getting better every single day. And, you know, play these games like it's our last game. And, uh, you know, we've seen that before. So it's been fun. It's been fun baseball. I'm not going to lie. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.